EU driver's hours. Daily rest. At the end of each driving session, each shift, commonly called a driving day, there has to be a daily rest. Daily rest is bedtime and family time or time at the pub, etc. This has to be 11 hours duration and it has to be within the 24 hour window starting at ignition time. Again, ignition time could be different each shift. 6 a.m. one day and say 7 a.m. the next. The 11 hours daily rest can be reduced to 9 hours three times in a fixed week. Daily rest can be taken in a stationary vehicle. Split daily rest. If you are prepared to increase the daily rest from 11 hours to 12 hours, you can split it. The split daily rest has to be a period of at least 3 hours, followed by a period of at least 9 hours. This might be convenient if you are taking punters to the beach. You could have 3 hours in the bunk at the seaside, then 9 hours rest at home. Weekly rest Weekly rest must be taken after no more than six periods of 24 hours have elapsed since the last weekly rest. Put another way, no later than 144 hours after, say, the 6 a.m. Monday ignition time. Weekly rest must be 45 hours uninterrupted. This is time off with the kids and for fishing etc. The 45 hours weekly rest can be reduced to 24 if the shortfall is compensated for. Suppose that the 24 hours weekly rest instead of 45 were taken there would be a 21-hour shortfall. This 21 hours would have to be paid back en bloc before the end of the third week following the week you're in. And it would have to be attached to a bit of rest that was already nine hours long like the nine-hour part of a split daily rest. Also, there has to be a full 45-hour weekly rest showing in every fortnight. Weekly rest can be taken in a stationary vehicle. Double Manning Within 30 hours after ignition, the crew of a doubled man vehicle must each man show at least 9 hours continuous daily rest. For the first hour, the presence of driver number 2 is optional, which allows for a single driver to collect driver number 2. Getting on a train or ferry. If a daily rest is at least 11 hours, it can be broken to get either on a ferry or train or off a ferry or train. 
That is, it can be broken once or twice. Once when you get on and once when you get off. The total duration of both splits added together is one hour. Working Time Directive Where it applies, the working time directive must be observed. For example, after six hours working, a rest of 30 minutes must be taken. This could cover a case where there was less than four and a half hours driving, so the driver's hours rules had not caused the bell to ring. Here, the bell rings after six hours work of any kind. As we know, no period of work can be longer than six hours. And if the full six hours is worked without a break, 30 minutes break is then required. With better planning maybe, if working between six and nine hours this 30 minutes may either be one 30 minute period or two 15 minute periods. These periods may occur at any time before the 9 hour deadline. Over 9 hours working, 45 minutes total break is required.